Um, I've always wanted to be a nurse ever since I was a little kid, um, but what really triggered it was when my grandfather was sick and he was be being cared by so many nurses and I saw so many good nurses care for him and even though um, we knew he wasn't going to come out of the situation alive, um, the nurses made it feel like it was okay and I wanted to do that for someone else, for another family. I wanted them, I want to be able to provide that ease for them. It took me a long time to get in, into college um, and what really triggered it for me was um, one day I asked uh, my daughters what they wanted to be when they grew up and they said nothing. They wanted to be like me, nothing. So I wasn't going to allow that and I, that, that's what triggered me back into college. Um, it was, it, I almost cried that day because I was like, it made me think like, wow, my daughters really think I'm nothing. So I, I told myself that was not going to be their excuse for being nothing, as they said. I used to be an international flight attendant, and I've been all over the world and have seen a lot of things, but the one story that sticks out most in my mind was in um, Hungary, um, and actually Romania. It was Romania, and it was very poor. And for the first time, I had seen orphan children just roaming the streets. And you know, in the United States, we don't have orphanages. We don't see that. And I had really thought to myself, I should be doing more. You know, traveling is nice, it's fun, but I really felt like I had a different calling. And so um, I decided to go back and get my nursing degree because I wanted to be able to give back. That really inspired me, it really touched me. Um, I started working at RMH and I had seen that they offered a scholarship to minorities and Hispanics and I was in school and I knew I basically had my eye on that scholarship I said one of these days I'm gonna apply for that and so I graduated from Rock Valley and have gotten accepted into a couple of schools and I applied for the scholarship and it's just really important I think to help you know, with that whole giving spirit to be able to give back. And I think that that's a great thing that RMH is doing, you know, to help their employees further their education. And nowadays, college being so expensive, the scholarship is really going to help me to be able to pursue my goal. I actually dropped out when I was 17 um, and got married, um, had my children young. I have three children. Um, and that's what we did. Um, my husband worked and I stayed home and raised my kids. About three years ago, my father had a stroke um, and it was pretty severe. Um, he was not expected to survive. And it was through everybody that played a part in his recovery. Um, but there were certain people there that really made a connection with him. And um, he responded more to his a certain CNA and a certain nurse and a certain therapist um, and those were the people that would get him to do um, things that they were trying to get him to do that others couldn't get him to do um, and that's when I decided that um, this is what I want to do I want to be that somebody who gives somebody else some hope for their loved ones I just really enjoy working with people and being a part of um, taking care of them and um, just helping them like others helped my father. Really, you know, the one that really stands out in my mind was his CNA when I just wanted to wrap her, fold her up, put her in my pocket, take her home with us because he just did so great with her. And, um, but yeah, it, it was just the slowed down pace instead of rushing him through things and, um, just really caring for him as if, I remember telling them that all I ask from them is that they care for him as if he was their father. And I could really see that in a lot of them. And I think that's what made the difference. Um, I think, yeah, I think he would be proud of what I'm doing.